Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Hannah Ray. I am the instructor and content creator of this channel. If you've been following along for a while, you may have noticed that I haven't been posting classes recently. And that's for a number of reasons. I've had some different things going on as well as um, have had some issues with some new software I've gotten, such as this mic. And today we're kind of actually testing out some of this new equipment to see uh, how it works, how much background noise it picks up. And so um, hopefully this turns out well and will be a good new uh, flow for me to be able to be a little bit more consistent with classes again. With that being said, today's class is going to be an intentional strength building class. So we're going to be moving slowly, intentionally, mindfully, but we're also going to be building strength and some fire heating up the body with this flow. So if you're ready, grab a mat and let's get to it. All right, so let's go ahead and begin today at the back of our mat in our child's pose. Big toes together, some space between the knees and begin just walking those hands forward, allowing that forehead to come to the mat. Beginning to anchor your awareness to the breath now. Inhaling deeply. Exhaling fully and slowly. Maybe reaching those fingertips a little bit further towards the edge of the mat. Taking an inhale and let it go. Just scanning through your body. Before we begin our practice today, noticing whatever is present for you. Any areas holding on to tension or stiffness? Any areas holding on to emotional energy? Tension? Just taking note of the state of your mind and emotions before we begin. And maybe go ahead and set an intention for your practice while we're here. That could be something like the intention to stay connected to the breath, to let go of expectations and meet yourself where you're at, to practice gratitude, or anything else that you wish to focus on in this moment. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, begin to round through each vertebrae of the spine coming towards tabletop, maybe dropping the hips forward as far as feels comfortable, perhaps dropping them all the way down. As you exhale, begin rounding through that back, hips leading as you roll back to child's pose. Again, inhale, rounding forward, continuing to move with the breath here, making this feel good for the body, maybe even lifting the thighs off for an upward facing dog. Exhale, sinking it back. One more like this, inhale, rounding forward. Just beginning to wake up the spine first. Exhale, sink it back. Now we're gonna begin going into some circles by shifting the hips to the left. And again, bringing the hips around toward the front of the mat. And shifting to the right, sinking it back towards that child's pose. Inhaling as you come forward. Being mindful of what's happening in the body right now. Exhale as you sink it back. Making this feel good for the body. Maybe adding in a head roll here. And let's go ahead and switch directions now. Just taking note if the side feels different than that first side did. Being aware of these imbalances in your body. Inhale, shifting forward. Exhale, circling back. Let's take one more in this direction. Inhale, shifting the hips forward. Exhale, circling back. Good, sinking back into that child's pose for a moment. Take an inhale. Exhale, rounding forward, tucking the toes, lead with the hips as you begin to press back into down dog. Notice here how I have the knees bent still. So before we extend the knees, we wanna make sure we have that straight, flat spine. Think about moving that low belly toward the thighs here. And then begin maybe extending one leg at a time and the other. Breathing through this. 
coming into your body in this moment. Just accepting whatever is present, whatever condition you're in right now, without judgment. Good, from here, let's inhale, lifting the right leg up toward the sky for a three-legged dog. Begin to bend at that knee and opening the hips here. Let's take a few hip circles. As big or as small as feels right for your body. Thinking about trying to keep those shoulders still square toward the front of the mat. Good, and let's switch directions with the hips. Exhale back to three-legged dog. And once again, we're going to begin stacking the hips, this time coming all the way over for our flip dog. Holding that for a moment, hips pulling up toward the sky, elongating through the body. Breathing deeply, noticing what's happening within your body in this moment. What areas are working to stabilize? Where is the tension being held? As you exhale, lower the hips to the ground, hand coming between the legs. Inhale, lifting again. Exhale, lowering. And lifting tall. One more time, lowering down. Inhale, lifting the hips, holding it here for a moment. Looking back at the right hand with your gaze. Inhale deeply. Sigh it out. Good, begin to flip now. Back to that three-legged dog. Exhale, stepping the right foot between the hands now. Just taking a moment to find your balance if you need to. Make sure that that front knee isn't going over the toes here. So we wanna try to think about this good alignment. So. First, we're gonna bring the hips up. Think about tucking the hips under. We don't wanna be opening to the side or arching through our low back here. We're gonna square the hips, tuck them under. Inhale, the arms up toward the sky. Exhale, folding forward. Extend through that front leg, squaring off the hips as you pull the toes toward the shin. Inhale, lifting once more for our high lunge. Allowing the hips to sink low. Exhale, folding forward. Think about pulling that right hip back, pressing that left hip forward as the toes pull to the shin. Releasing once more into our high lunge. And extend and fold. Holding it here for a moment. Breathing into that hamstring, just noticing what sensations are present. Then coming back to our high lunge once more. Arms reaching up to the sky. Everything is engaged here, so our arms are not passively just up here. We are extending through the arms, through the fingertips, and then begin tapping that back knee toward the mat for two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Holding that high lunge. We're gonna drop the left hand toward the mat, reaching those right fingertips up toward the sky. And begin taking a few arm circles here. Just making this feel good in the body once more. Stopping once more in that twist. Good, then plant the hands, step back into plank. Take your chaturanga or knees, chin, chest. Inhale, upward facing dog. Holding here for just a moment, enjoying this gentle release through the back, through the hips. Let's dip the left hips down as we look over the right shoulder. Breathing into that side body. And switch sides. Again, noticing 
differences between these two sides. Just being aware of the condition of your own body. All right, coming back to center. And as you exhale, lead with the hips as you press back into down dog. Very good. Take a moment here to either find stillness or maybe walk out your dog. Maybe you rock the hips side to side. When you're ready, let's inhale, lifting the left leg up toward the sky this time. Three-legged dog. And beginning to open and stack those hips. Let's take a few hip circles in the forward direction. And moving slowly, mindfully here. You don't have to move quickly to build strength, but rather we can actually build sometimes a healthier strength, a more mindful strength when we are taking the time to be slow, aware of our form. Go ahead and switch directions with those hip circles. So I encourage you to release the ego through this practice, to really notice where the body is at, not forcing anything, but just meeting yourself where you are, challenging yourself to the extent that is good for your body today. All right, let's open the hips now, holding this for a moment, and beginning to flip that dog once more, extending through the whole body. Exhale, lower the hips, hand between the legs. Inhale, opening. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lifting high. And lower. One more time, let's inhale, lifting those hips high up to the sky. Imagine there's a string pulling from those hips all the way up. Looking back at that left fingertips with your gaze. Hold, hold, hold. And release, beginning to flip, finding your way back into our three-legged dog. Exhale, step that hand to the front of the mat. Finding our high lunge, taking your time to find that balance again. Again, first thinking about tucking those hips under. Front knee not going past the toes, squaring off those hips so we're not open to the side. Hips are facing the front of the mat. Then inhale those hands up, finding that tall, strong posture here. Inhale. Exhale, fold through that front leg, extending, squaring off the hips. Then inhale back for high lunge. Exhale, folding. Left hip pulling back this time, right hip pushing forward. Inhale, finding that strength, that stability. Fingertips reaching. Exhale, fold. Holding here for just a moment. All right, coming back to the high lunge and beginning to take those leg taps. Make sure that the hips are tucked under first and then tapping the knee for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good. Go ahead and dropping that right hand now to the mat. Reach that left arm up and then begin taking those arm circles. Again, just inviting some mobility into the body. Holding the twist once more. Breathing into the stillness. Feeling those muscles at work, even while we are simply holding. And release that hand, step back for plank. Pressing through those scapulas. Exhale, lowering for chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, down dog. 
Good, bend, bend the knees as you look forward and hop toward the front of the mat. Coming down to your sits bones, finding our boat pose. Holding here for just a moment, engaging that core. Think about the arms and legs both parallel to the ground. And begin to slowly release for four, three, two, and one. Good, releasing now into our final Shavasana. Maybe gently tucking those shoulder blades down and back. Arms at the sides, palms facing the sky. And simply feel the effects of that short practice on your body. Noticing how sensations are feeling different within your body. Maybe noticing a change in your heart rate or breathing. Maybe feeling some tingling or numbness, or buzzing through the limbs. Take note of the state of your mind and emotions. any effects that this practice has had on you mentally. Spending just a few more moments here to relax before we move on with our day. Just a few more moments to notice what is going on within yourself, what you need today. I encourage you to stay here even longer if you have the time today, but if you're ready to finish and move on with your day, go ahead and stretch or move in any way that the body is asking for. And then begin to turn onto your right side and meet me seated for our final closing breath together. Take you one more moment to scan through the body, notice the effects of this practice. Then inhale, reaching the arms up toward the sky. And exhale, hands to prayer at heart center. Just thanking yourself for showing up in this way today. Thank you so much for joining me for today's short mindful strength building practice. If you enjoyed this class, please consider helping me out by hitting that thumbs up button and subscribing if you haven't already. I try to release uh, new classes every week. Lately, I've been a little less consistent, but I'm trying to get back on board with that. So be sure to subscribe and follow along to stay up to date with all my new classes as they are released. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you again for joining me today, and I'll see you soon for our next class. Namaste.